Today we will discuss another topic Azure VM Restore. Step by step guide how to we can restore our backup Azure virtual machine from the Azure Key Vault. Okay. So this topic, the continuity of my previous video, I will put uh, I will put the, the my previous video description uh, description the below. Okay, you can just watch the previous video, then you can understand. Okay, because that part one I told how to we can back up our Azure machine. Okay, so this topic I will discuss the another how to we can restore the backup virtual machine. Okay, so now I will go to our Azure portal. Okay, then uh, our resource group. This is our resource group. You can collect the resource group from here, the plate, and you can go for here, resource group. Azure backup demo. Okay, this is our Azure back here already. Demo service is our key vault, and I will click that demo service. Then I will go for our backup items. Then here, Azure virtual machine. Okay, so this already backup pre-check last backup also. Then okay, you can we need to backup this Azure version okay restore just we click the view details and here you can see the options backup now restore VM file recovery and stop so I just go for and restore the VM okay so how do we can do that so just click the restore VM see here you can see restoring point you need to select first the restoring point okay just to select this one and we need to check see 5 9 2010 for 42 a we have one snap is there so here two option consistent application consistency and crash consistency two option is a crash consistency means the vm have problem and you don't want to restore that you it's already mentioned there some problems in the VMs and a bootloading and application error and sometime uh, when that time example the restoring point time the uh, our VM will be stopped like this one. so uh, here also you can see the crash consist application consistently means everything is perfect you can restore the your point so now we don't see any crash concept because our VM is off okay so I just select this application consistency and I click this one okay so it take little time created uh, so restoring configuration you have two options first option creating new and replacing existing one creating new means you can get the same copy of your previous actual mission you can create a new one see when you select a creating new one creating the version you can get two options create a new virtual machine and restore in the disk okay if go for create a new mission then virtual mission name and Azure subscription and resource group and virtual network you need to select which one okay and subnet and store allocation we are already create our staging location means the storage number we are storage store this is storage group we already create that one then you can select also okay if example we replace system if replace existing one so you need to select the storage account only storage account select and then example I go for creating new one and also we have another option restoring the disk okay here also you can restore the disk where the previous disk is there the same disk you can use so Azure Vision Backup and Azure Demo Resource Group select to the staging option also this because this is our storage account okay so now I will first go for creating new one okay then creating new virtual machine okay then I write VM to backup and then Azure subscription same Azure subscription and the select option first VM network this is our virtual machine. Then after that, submit default token. Then the storage, okay. Uh, staging location. Okay. Then just to click the restore. Then they will validating if any error is available or not. Okay. After validating, we can start creating. So this option creating a new virtual machine 
with the savings then okay to uh, just to wait okay they will triggering restoring the vm back okay they start to creating the vm back so first option we complete creating the virtual new virtual machine using the existing backup okay so it take time i will come back okay so now i come back see now the triggering restoring for vf is completed okay so creating the new virtual machine okay just we go for uh, our uh, um, our resource group okay then we will check the azure backup demo okay see see here you see vm2 backup so before vm1 backup and we will make the new virtual machine using the old backup so click this one Till this one also see now the VM backup machine range is start to end. okay at the same machine no problem uh, see now you can understand how to we can backup the the old virtual machine to new one okay so next step I will tell you how to we can create with the disk okay now step two we will go for how to backup from the disk okay just to go for your resource group then we will go to Azure Backup Demo. After that, we will go to Demo Service. Then we will go for our backup items. Azure Virtual Machine. Okay. Then View Details. So, uh, Restoring VM. I click the Restoring VM. So, click the Restoring Point. Same point we click the same same point okay see here creating new this step we finish already this first step how to we create a new version so next one how to we can restore the disk so select the restoring disk Azure backup and Azure backup demo resource group and select option and this one and restore to create alternative configuration, you can also use it with PowerShell. Okay, this is restoring from the disk. You just click restore. So it, it also starting the validation. So just to wait for the, the after the validation will be completed. Okay, I will come back after validation complete. Okay, so also the triggering is started. It take little time just to wait on how long okay so now I come back to the video just see the triggering restore and backup is complete so I just go for our resource group okay then I should backup demo then okay our restoring backup complete okay I just go for our Azure backup demo okay then I will check the our uh, demo resource uh, service vault and the backup items Azure Virtual Machine and the PM backup and view details restoring VM click the restore and select the restoring point okay So, so the step two, step one, two, I show you how to we can restore the virtual machine. One create a new one and restore this. Another one replacing the existing one. So replacing existing one, you have already one disk. They will remove that one and add this one new one. Okay, just to select the option. Okay. The disk from the selected restore by will be replaced the disk in existing view. So this is in place appeared. Okay. Just they will replace the disk. Only that. But I will not this one gen, just to create the restoring point. Okay. This only the steps. Okay. So I just go for this one also if you need, just to click the restoring point. Okay. Just to click restoring point. Then they will validate and they will complete it. Okay. So 
so just wait for validation after validation completes they will start the triggering okay yeah they will start this after we complete we will return back okay okay i have returned back here video see the triggering restoring vm backup is complete so i i think we will completed restoring vm with uh, creating new one and existing disk and also we will complete the i will show you how step c one minute I'll just uh, go for here see we will completed both step restoring one and creating new and replacing existing one okay so i will just uh, one step pending i will show you how to we can file recover from virtual machine okay just to go back here i show backup demo then demo service so backup items just to click the backup items then after the, sorry backup items just to click the backup item then natural version mission view details uh, here file recovery here how to we can recover the file from the arsho version mission okay just to click the file recovery then here you can see the restoring point the same restoring point just to click this one then click ok then after that you step to download the script to the browser and the recovery file this script will be mounted disk from the selected recovery point a local drive on the machine where is the run. the driver will remain mounted in 12 hours ok means you just download this script and you just execute this script in, in your uh, windows where you want this one then after that you prepare they will generate one password and then copy and open it and execute the disk okay then you can take the recover from the disk so your disk okay i will show you how to we can do that okay okay now we will go for file recovery okay how to we can recover the from our Azure VM, the file, Azure VM, the file recovery. And just to click this file recovery. Okay, then select your restoring point. Um, I will select TA, the last name, application. See, yeah, you see, before I told you crash consistency and application. See, now this is because unexpectedly shut down uh, my VM before five minutes. That's why the crash consistency. So we will go for, for application consistency and just click that one then i will click the downloading executive file generating the uh, script to password and your download starting with the mission okay just wait for you little time okay just wait see uh, see our download script is ready and just click this download and after that required password just to copy this password then go for your download folder just to go for download then execute that script then please enter the password i will enter my password i copy then click enter yeah they are check, uh, checking for os compatibility is done and ensure the mission meet recover and recovery script check the for network connectivity is done so you can go here you can see the in file explorer this pc see after that they will come in here your unmounted disk okay see now noted uh, process is noted completed after completed he will automatically come in the disk okay just to hold on little time it taking the process uh, connection is assist please find the please wait while as attach volume of recovery file open explore in the browser file after recovering uh, to remove the disk and close connection recovery point please click the unbounded sequence steps so one recovery volume is attached amount okay so now i go for a file explorer again see this see see this is our windows the same disk is recovered okay 
same copy is required and then you can go for windows c whatever you want just to copy for example your any missing file or something like this one just to copy it and paste it for example i will just go for packages or no need package just a symbol anything user okay i just do for user and i just uh, music or picture of anything is like okay no problem just to copy then picture just to copy whatever you need just to copy it and paste it in your desktop sorry in your uh, anywhere just to desktop you paste it voila. so you understand how to we can do this one just to prepare your so license definition they will coming everything see just to download a script you created and after that you here unmounted disk is recovery unmount disk and close the connection is recovery point just to, if you not close anything it's automatically close after 12 hours okay the already they will mention mounted disk okay. after recovery remove the disk close the connection and to the recovery point please click unmounted disk okay after that in this step in the in the portal recovery press q to exit okay so i just go for here i just before you need to prepare i just close it i just click unmounted disk and i will put exit so now uh, the unmounting in progress the unmount disk is progress okay go for your file as well it take a little time yeah it take a little time okay after will be finished the automatic disk will be unbounded from your uh, virtual machine so now i think you can understand see now the disk is unbounded so uh, now you understand how to we can recover the file from the virtual machine if unexpectedly you will be delete or anything something is happened you can go for file recovery okay from the virtual machine so now i wind up my topic okay i think you are like my video if you like my video just like and subscribe my channel thank you so much